Well, I did promise a review of not that console, but this console. The Game Station HD Game Console, boasting 628 plus 20 games. Suitably vague what those additional 20 games are. It does say it's 8 bit and 16 bit, and it is a classic games collection. This looks suitably terrible, but it is boasting not repeatable games and built in classic endurance 8 bit games and 16 bit games. I picked this up cheaply from a car boot sale for £9, and I'm wondering whether I'm regretting this now. But let's give it the benefit of the doubt, it does have the charger with it. Let's crack this bad boy open. This seems to be moulded on a PS Classic, but I can tell you now, it already feels a hell of a lot lighter and very cheaply made. But then what do I expect for £9? There's a user man... Oh, hang on. A user man Y. Missed off the L for some reason. What's this? Two pads. Suitable cabling. And the lead that we've got hundreds of but can never find when we need to. Micro USB. Yeah, this feels extremely light. What is the make of this? It says an oiny one. What on earth is an oiny one game station? LB? Or is that IB? Hmm, it's got the old Mega Drive and Amiga ports. Oh, I don't think I'll be plugging one of those control pads in though. God, this is awful. A user man why? I'm sure it's going to be easy and plug and play though. So I'm not too bothered about the instruction man why. These feel really light too. There is not two sets of shoulder pad buttons though. There's the usual button arrangement, but they haven't even bothered to write the letters on them or a start and select. But if you're used to retro gaming you will be quite at home with the feel of this pad, although it does feel a lot worse than you've probably been used to. What does the RS70 mean? I thought it was an only one LB. This is getting more and more confusing as I go on. I presume that means you can put an SD card into it. Let's see how this compares with a classic consoles pad. You can see it's a very similar size, but the quality is much, much worse. Yeah, and it does feel extremely light compared to the PS Classic pad. Okay, that's that test out of the way. What else can we have a look at? What's going on behind the back of the console? Yeah, it is got HDMI, micro USB for power and a TF card slot. Oh my word, and here we are into the boot screen. I'm pushing all the buttons but nothing is happening. I don't quite know... oh, hang on. That, I seem to have had to push two buttons there. I'm not quite sure what I have done. I think I pushed down on the control pad and then pushed another button and it's let me go in. Ooh, 8-bit. 16 bit. Let's try the 8 bit. Okay, this is boasting 628 games 
and non-repeated games. I didn't even think there was a Robocop 4. This looks mysteriously like original Robocop on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh my good god, look at those colours. I don't remember it being this bad on the Nintendo. If you want to control a clunky metal man on a dreadful system with extreme lag and slowdown, this console is for you. Why is everything so blue and faded? I can I can barely see what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, forget this. Let's quit out of this. What else is here? Let's go for something at least I know. Oh, cripes. This is running at an unbelievably fast pace. Listen to that sound. And what is going on with this jump? Oh, hang on a minute. I think it must have some kind of turbo button enhancements. Yeah, that feels a bit more like it. But listen to this sound. This is running extremely fast. This is not right at all. And it seems to have some kind of horrible glossy filter on it. Which is making everything all creamy and horrible. I've broke the game. I am not joking. The game is actually broken. What do I do now? How do I quit? Oh my god. Oh, right, hang on. I'm going to have to reset this. This is proper broke. Let's see if we can have more fun with some 16-bit. Let's get it on. Okay. Hmm. Golden Axe, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here we go. Ah, uh, oh. Okay. This is playing very, very horribly. Listen to that crunch and sound. Oh. This is not right at all. This must be the Mega Drive version. This is crunching away like no one's business. I'm pushing up and then three seconds later, Mr. Ryu Man is jumping up in the air. This is practically impossible to play. So I am relying on my expert Street Fighter 2 knowledge to get me through this. Ooh, I managed to Hadouken then. I've actually beaten him. Oh, that was fairly impressive considering the limitations. But what else is there? Is there anything else we can try? 20 games at 16 bit. Yeah, this must be a Mega Drive because it's got all the Streets of Rage games. Although I do notice it's missing Streets of Rage 1. Very disappointing. Let's try a bit of Sonic, a game I also know very well. Oh no. This is also incredibly crunchy. This is not as fast as I remember Sonic, as he makes his way through the zone. Hmm. I don't think I can take much more of this. Let's see if I can make him do a loop the loop for a proper sound and speed test. This is really, really bad. How on earth do people make things so bad? Well, I can't complain though. As I said, it was £9. But I'm now thinking of what else I could have purchased for £9. I could have got nine packs of mints. 
It's having a good go. But yeah, it's too glitchy for me. No, let's move on and see what else we can find. Is there anything else that I can come across on the 8-bit section? Hmm. It is also taking an absolute age to scroll through all the games. And look, they're not even alphabetical. So how on earth am I supposed to know what to play if it's not ordered correctly? Let's have a look. What's this game? It's all in Japanese. This does not help me in the slightest. Oh my word. Look at that flickering. This is some sort of volleyball game. Oh, oh I know. I do. You seem to be able to punch. Okay, what button does that? I don't even know who I am. Surely they can't mess up Tetris though. Oh, they can. Yeah, this also is not playing right. This feels incredibly clunky. Moving on. Kung Fu Mari. Okay, so this was under Mario Brothers 10. I don't remember there being 10 Mario Brothers games, so I am assuming that this is a bootleg hack of another game merged with a massive Mario Man with a funny cap on. What's this jump business going on? Oh, hang on, there's a little frog. Oh, I punched him. Now what happens? Hey, And who's that guy? I have not a clue what's going on here. I keep trying to jump, but it's not jumping high enough. Oh, and he can walk on water. Of course he can. Why wouldn't he be able to walk on water in this console, in this alternate reality? Hmm, okay. Oh, how did I do that? I jumped high in the air. Um, no, I've not worked this out. Right, let's give it another go. Push the button. No, it's not happening. Oh, this is also an incredibly slow and confusing game. Hang on, there's another frog there. I cannot recommend this game station. This has been a terrible experience. This is probably the worst console I have ever played in my life. Do not buy this system. Even if it is one pound, I urge you, this is a warning. <laughs>